Here's an overview of my NADN workflow that publishes Google Docs to WordPress and formats it automatically. It's triggered by my Airtable and it looks for records that have the load status. And then it pulls up the Google Doc for that record, like this one. It's a regularly formatted Google Doc. You can see there's an H1, here's an H2 heading, H3s, it's got bullets, it's got bold text and links and my automation can handle all of those and format them properly. I also have section names which don't actually get published to the page. They turn into IDs inside the HTML, which allows me to add jump links and tables of content. It'll also be helpful later on when I wanna update specific sections of this document. This post is called How to Calculate Employee Benefits, and it's not currently live on my WordPress website. So when I run this automation, it's going to find the record that has load status. It is a loop so that it can handle more than one at the same time. It'll just keep looping and publishing records as long as they have the load status. It grabs the Google Doc, then this code node formats it, then it publishes it to WordPress. And here's the post. It has the exact same formatting as my Google Doc. And here's the live post on WordPress complete with all the formatting. When I go back into my Airtable, the status will also be updated to live. This solves the issue of needing to format a Google Doc before publishing it to a WordPress website. It publishes it as clean HTML on WordPress. It's triggered by statuses changing in my Airtable database. This node filters for anything that has the load status. Then it starts a loop. And the reason we have a loop is that way it can handle multiple records. So if I wanted to publish several records, it would repeat this loop where it gets the Google Doc, cleans it up, publishes it to WordPress, and then gets the post data. When the content is published by the previous automation, which is a content writing automation, it'll automatically add this Google Doc into the written content doc URL field. The get content doc node grabs that Google Doc and you can see that it's outputting here in its full Google Doc format. The cleanup node is the most important. It is a code node and it turns it into HTML. It's designed to convert Google Docs formatting into regular HTML. And you can see the output here is clean HTML. Publishing it to WordPress is easy with the built-in WordPress node. I feed it the title, the content, the slug, the status, and the category ID. And here's the output where you can see it published it to WordPress. Once it's published, I have a get post data node, and that is to grab the post ID as well as the title tag and meta description. This updates my post ID field in Airtable, and it also updates my title tag and meta description field in Airtable. Then it updates the status to live in Airtable so that it's ready for the next step in the automation workflow. And if there was more than one record, it would loop back and repeat the same process. That's how you can quickly and easily publish Google Docs to WordPress using NADN. It's a pretty simple workflow, but it saves me a lot of time. In the next video, I'll show you how to use NADN to generate featured images for your blog posts and then update it automatically on WordPress. See you in the next one.